So here we are, we're in December. Oh my God. Now, November, as I've said in my monthly predictions um, and in the weekly predictions going through November, that it was like, it was all about endings, the ending energy. Now, what I find is that if people do not deal with what it is that needs to be ended in that vibration, and they go into the vibration, which has got to do with the new beginnings, which is what December is all about, then it's like God and the universe comes in and it will bring everything that the individual or, or the country or the world on the whole has not dealt with in that energy of the vibration of the endings, then it comes in and it is huge. It just takes over, basically, just takes over and goes, right, this is ended, this is ended, this is ended, this is ended, and this is ended, because we cannot carry this over into this new cycle. And especially when we go into the January, when we are looking at all of that energy, the January, February of the Pluto with the Aquarian. Now, we've got a lot of fire that's going to be going on, guys. Now, that fire energy is basically all month to do with direction. So things are firing up to do with direction. Also, we've got a lot of energy going on to do with pushing. I'm getting this push, this push, this push. And around that, we get this fire energy also coming in around everybody's thinking, all of the ideas and the ideas of the universe. So things are being fired up to do with direction and things are being fired up to do with thinking. Now, when we look at this to do with the thinking, fire, anger, anger, a lot of anger will be coming up in people. Now, why is this? Because we've got the strong Jupiter energy and it's coming in and things that have been hidden are going to surface. And this surfacing energy has been going on since May of last year. So it started to bring that energy up. And then when we hit the May of this year, it's gone right now we're hotting things up and we're getting things cooking here. So we've got that really dynamic energy that's going to be staying through until May of next year. Now we've got a lot of karma, but the karmic energy has got to do with, and this is just, it's classic. It is classic. So we have been working very strongly with all of this Piscean and the Piscean energy has got to do with religion, etc., etc. Now, also with that energy, we've got two sides. And what I got was it's got we've got two sides of the same, the same energy are going to be pulling against each other. So, I mean, I am so excited because the karma is going to surface between these energy patterns where they think that, well, I've got the answer. No, I've got the answer. I know what needs to be doing, what, need, what needs to be done. I, need, I know what needs to be done. So all of that evil energy is going to be, they're going to be pulling against each other. And when they do that, they're going to bring themselves undone. Very strong, very strong through this period of time. And it will continue on with this pulling in these different directions into our January energy as well. So then we're looking at intensity, real intensity. And we get this intensity coming in around the 9th and the 10th of December. And we get like rock solid, like I need to take control of things here. And it's like, and it's the taking control from the 22nd through until the end of December. So that's exciting. And then we've got all of this, this 
fire, again, that fire energy that I was talking about, really strong on the 2nd and the 3rd, the 12th and the 13th, and again on the 20th and the 21st. But that intensity around the 9th and the 10th is showing up really, really strong. Now, I'm also picking up, they keep on saying to me, the bull, the bull, the bull, the bull. And, and then they kept on saying red flag to a bull. So we've got all of that energy that's going to be happening on the planet and it will be the month of December that all of that is going to be coming up. So again, it's like, uh, don't push your luck. It's got to do with um, things being aggravated. And it's and it's the it's the one that thinks that they're basically in control, uh, the one that can actually create the greatest amount of damage, is going to be basically like rendered rendered like helpless, rendered like hopeless. So, and a lot of rage will come up with that. So, we're getting the male. We're getting the male who is the leader. That that male that is the leader taking control. Taking control of what? All of the mental dilemma that is going on on the planet the month of December. Everyone, just remember, do not make a foolish move. You must listen to your gut feelings. So whatever your gut feelings are telling you, that is what you have to follow because we've got a lot of the cutting, releasing and letting go of everything that's no longer relevant. And the sitting on the fence and biding your time, we're still going to be doing that for a bit of the time, guys. There's still that sitting on the fence and just waiting. But a lot of the turning, things are turning, things are turning around. Things are breaking down and as things break down, movement is going to take place. Yep, here we are. The lies are going to come to the surface. The lies. Here we are with that one that I said before about things, things that have been hidden are going to surface. So it's all coming and we've got the justice must prevail. And then we've always also got the energy here of a surrender. Now, I know this has come up before. It's come up before. And people are saying to me, it's like, well, who's going to surrender? Because it's like, they're not going to surrender and they're not going to surrender. Well, there is going to be a surrender because now they're just saying to me, there will be a surrender because so much will surface. So much will come to the surface that it's like they're going to have nowhere to hide, nowhere to hide. hide. And then this is when all of this fire energy comes up with the rage, incredible rage. And then we've got the concern to do with the money. So like for those of those of you that have got a money tree, it's like, like just get that money. I've said to you how long now for the last two years, get your money out of the bank, get your money out of the bank. And I don't care what you do with it. I don't care. I don't care what it is that you're going to buy. Um, but it's like, but just get the money out of the bank because I'm getting a like bank's money new direction. And a lot of sorrow is going to come in around all of that. Um, okay, what else have we got? Well, we've still got the battle. Um, and the battle is sitting there and it's got to do with the battle in regard to the new vision. So people are going to find it difficult. They're going to have a battle with themselves in regard to holding what the new vision is going to be. What is the possible? What on earth is happening? What is going on? And a lot of dissatisfaction and a lot of anger a lot of a lot of anger but we've got a lot of dissatisfaction dissatisfaction coming in around the money we've got wailing i can hear wailing people that are wailing oh my god and it's because of this incredible deep sorrow 
um, and it's about the exposure. And again, I've got to go back to that. With that with that Jupiter energy, things hidden are going to surface. But we come out with an incredible victory. And we are where the burdens will be lifted. And you know, all of you, all of you out there that have just stayed with it, stayed with it, stayed with it, and just trusted, trusted. It's like you are going to be rewarded. You are going to be rewarded because we've got like a lot of like emotional happiness um, that will be coming in, but a lot of focus to overseas. And the focus overseas is to do with money and to do with work, work career. And we've got also a lot of sorrow that, that is connected. So there's going to be a lot of change. There's going to be a lot of change with people's work. But do not be concerned about it because the best is yet to come. It's going to improve. Yeah, it is going to improve. So whatever it is that you've been doing as far as career is concerned, don't be surprised if you if your life goes in a new direction to do with your career. There is going to be celebration. There are going to be changes to do with people, to do with homes, but I get celebration over the top of that. And we get a whole new cycle, a whole new world cycle that is going to open up. So take care of yourselves in the meantime. Sleep if you need need to sleep. If you start to go into mental dilemma, what do I teach in my seminars? What do I teach with my clients? Simple statement, cancel, cancel. Thanks for sharing conscious mind for giving me that. Thanks for sharing Mr. over there. Thanks for sharing you over there. Thanks for sharing what you think over there. Cancel, cancel and you then replace it with the positive. What we focus on now is extremely, extremely important. Anything that comes up that's got any form of negativity, oh, this has been reported, this is happening over there in this country. So if it's happening over there, then it's going to come here. Cancel, cancel. Do not watch it. Positive, 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 positive. That's all you need to be doing now. And the more that people all over the planet start to focus in on the positivity, then it's all going to take us all to a whole new level. But if you focus on this negative shit that's coming out, and if others get to focus on that as well, then have a guess what? We can't move off in the direction we're meant to move off in because you're focusing back on that negative stuff. So positive energy, positive energy, positive energy. Uh, new partnerships, uh, people coming together, new, new, new associations coming together here. Um, and then we've got a lot of breaking from restrictions as we've worked with self. You've got to work with self. You've got to master self. That's really, really, really important. Very, very, very important. Um, it's like, and we've got death to death to Lucifer is showing up here. Death to Lucifer, and but it comes to with the with the energy here of us needing to go into some form of isolation. But you've got to trust your gut feelings, please. Your intuition, your gut feelings are going to guide you as you bring in a whole new way of thinking and you support other people with their whole new ways of thinking because how they lived their lives in the past, have a guess what? It's gone. It's gone. It's going to be gone. It's going to be done, done and dusted because the light is going to be shining on everything and everything is going to be exposed, which is then seeing people having to stand their ground. It's like, no, not doing that. No, not doing that. Not doing that. Uh, but at the moment, we're still, like as I said before, sitting on the fence, a little bit of like hanging in limbo until things really start to move. Um, yep, okay, here it comes, right? Here comes the tornado. Um, here comes things breaking down. Here's the whole thing breaking down to do with what to do with money because we're all going to be going through this whole huge rebirth of energy. And we're coming out with the most amazing, amazing, amazing outcome of this incredible, audacious victory. And it's going to be right across the board. Every area of our lives are going to have this audacious victory here 
audacious victory here and here and here and here and here. And as Christian 21 said, he said, I, don't, I no longer hear the screams of the children. I no longer hear the screams of the children. So it's like he is saying that it's like that has now been done with. It's been done with. So here we go, guys, and like like love and blessings to each and every one of us. Um, we will find out exactly what a Christmas has been about, um, what why it is that they've held it the way that they've held it, why it is that they have um, put things up, the trees, the the decorations, like all of that, all of that's going to come out. All of the truth is going to come out about absolutely everything so please keep your eye on my rumble because i'm going to be doing um a show with maria from hawaii then that's going to be followed by i think that's on sunday uh which is her saturday over there then on monday night i'm going to be doing a show with bryce on esoteric atlanta and then i'm looking at doing one with Catherine edwards from um from england Okay, so and there's going to be some very, very information that I interesting information that I'm going to be sharing. Plus, there's going to be some directions for you guys in regard to view this, view this, view this, view this. So I've been looking at a lot of things going right. What is it? What is it, God? What do you want people to look at? What do you want them to focus in on? And it's like they've got to know about this. They've got to know about this. And they've got to know about this. And then he said he wants you all with laughter. So there's something that I found that just brought just incredible laughter and joy to me last night. And that needs to be shared with you all as well. Okay, so God bless, God bless, God bless.